Hi everybody! In today's video, we'll show you how to measure current leakage in a car and discuss the ways to detect it. We'll need a multimeter with a DC measuring range of at least 10 amps. For the sake of convenience and to ensure reliable contact, we recommend using alligator clip probes. Turn off all consumers of current in the car and leave the windows open, as the central lock can be activated while the multimeter is closing the electric circuit. Remove the negative terminal from the battery, set the mode of measuring current and connect the probes. As we can see, current leakage exceeds the limit. The limit is within 20 to 80 milliamps. One of the reasons is that we, after connecting the probes, we lock the car power supply, and it takes time to switch to the rest mode again. It can take 1 to 20 minutes. In our case, this happened because the aftermarket car radio was connected, bypassing the ignition lock, which switched on after the multimeter closed the circuit. Turn it off and see that car leakage is within the limits. You can use clamp meters to avoid breaking the circuit. For illustrative purposes, we'll show their accuracy of measurement compared to the multimeter. The only issue we'd like to mention is that you should use the clamp meter designed for measuring DC. As you can see, the measurement result is quite precise and accurate. Now let's measure current leakage with the clamp meter directly on the wire that goes to the battery terminal. Clamp meters for measuring DC current use the hole sensor, which is very sensitive to parasite currents. Therefore, after closing them on the wire, you need to reset using the zero button. The current is within the permissible range, but compared to the values of the multimeter, it is slightly higher. This is due to limited access to the cable. For more precise measurements, the cable should be located approximately in the center of the crimping tool of the meter. If there is a current leakage in the car, proceed to locate the leakage source. Start with relay and fuse boxes. The procedure is as follows. Take out fuses one at a time and see if the current value decreases. If there is a significant decrease, check all devices this fuse is responsible for. You can use the car owner's manual to help you. Other causes of leakage may be the automotive alternator, starter and damaged car wiring. You can learn about ways to test these devices in an article on our website. 